Okay, but before we get into the video, I wanted to say thank you so much for 700 subscribers. I got a lot of support over the last few days and I just think it's crazy. 700, that's like almost bigger than my graduating class in high school. I just wanted to say thank you and I'm thinking of doing a Q&A type of thing at 1000. So start leaving your questions down below in the comments cause at this rate we might hit that soon. So I'll look at your questions, I'll pick some out and do a Q&A once I reach 1000. Mm. I'm not okay. So it's currently 5 a.m. and I'm not okay, but I'm about to be okay because we're about to go to the airport because I'm going to Miami. I have a really early flight, that's why I have to wake up so early, but maybe I'll get some coffee or something, I don't know. Okay, update. I got my coffee, I'm at the airport, and you know, I'm feeling like okay now okay and then i also got i'm gonna do like a haul so first i got my coffee and then i got a cheese pizza and honestly i feel like if you go to an airport and you don't get pizza did you even go to the airport and then i got like this really cool iceland water and it looks like a glacier i'm excited to try this because i really want to go to iceland but i've never been so this is the closest i'm gonna get We finally got to Miami after like this really long flight that was so bad and I'll get to that in a second But this is our hotel room It's pretty cute and it's like right across the street from the main beach area and we have a pretty sweet view outside Hold on look look that's such a nice wall. Oh my gosh I can't wait to wake up to that view like every single day. So yeah <laughs> Okay, so our plane ride was not the best because it was me and my parents traveling and we had priority boarding But they had the audacity to put us in the last row and not only that They didn't even put us like together in the same row. So we were all scattered in the back I'm a pretty tall person and the back row has way less leg room than regular economy So like we had literally no room I had to like sit to the side so that I would fit because I can't sit straight on and my legs won't fit and then there's literally not even overhead compartment space in the back like the last three rows are like safety equipment because clearly you need that on planes so had to steal someone else's overhead compartment space but now we're here and we're gonna go have fun i don't know what we're doing right now i think we're just gonna like walk around on the beach and stuff So today's day two, I just woke up and I want to try out this like, there's like this espresso machine in the room and they said it's complimentary so it should be free but like I've never had like raw espresso so I want to try this out. I've only had like regular coffee drinks or like espresso where you put a bunch of stuff in it but not like the tiny espresso cups, you know? I already messed this up, okay? I put it in here and then it wasn't working. So I lifted it back up and the thing fell inside and now I don't know how to get it out. Okay, I got it. You just like pull this out. And yes, I'm just gonna put this back in. Oh no, I'm breaking it more. Literally, it didn't work again and I just don't know what to do. Okay, so this one filled up more and it turned out darker. So maybe that's what it's supposed to look like because like espresso, I always thought was like super dark, but this one's like mildly dark. So I guess we'll try this one. Cheers. Yep, it tastes like raw coffee. So I think I'm gonna go outside and swim now. So let's go to the beach. 
Let's go to the beach, beach. Ninky and Judge. So every time I come to the beach, I always decide to dig a giant hole for some reason. I just think that's fun. So I have this hole here and it's like four feet deep. It's like really deep. Oh. While digging, I also found all this trash. Look at all these beer caps I found. There's like six of them. And then lots of cigarette butts. Don't pollute, look at all the pollution. We drove a whole hour all the way to this Russian store. I don't know why. My dad just wanted to go here for some reason, but it's super cool because everything's like in Russian. I decided to get these Russian sodas. I got two of them and they're in Russian. And I looked them up on Google Translate. This one says Baikal and this one says, I think it said Duchess. And I looked them up. This one's like a pear flavor and this one's like um, grass flavor. It was like weed flavor, not like marijuana weed, but like grass weed. And it said it was, a, it was the best selling soda in Russia. So I'm gonna try this one first. I've never tasted anything like this before. I kind of taste the grassy flavor, but also kind of tastes like it has chocolate in it, which is pretty good. So now we're at the beach, and I think I'm gonna take my drone out to get some drone footage, so enjoy like this cinematic stuff. Today is day three, and right now we're going to like this monastery thing. It's like this really pretty famous thing in Miami, and there's like nuns there and stuff. Something weird that I was thinking about earlier is like me and my mom were joking about how I should like drop out of college and go there for some reason, but like I was thinking, would that even be possible? Because you have to be a girl to become a nun. So like if I was transgender and then became a nun, would the church allow that? Because I don't know like all the rules with that. So we're at the monastery right now, and it's so pretty. It's like all these old style buildings and just this really cool architecture. I haven't seen any nuns yet. I don't even know if they're here because it's like an ancient monastery. So they're probably not here, but it's so pretty. Update. I was right, there are no nuns because like it's not a functioning monastery, it's just like ancient type of museum thing but there's like this garden here and there's so many butterflies like look at that. They're so pretty. So now we're gonna get something to eat. I want to go to this pizza place because their pizzas are literally like three feet long which is huge. Look how big they are. Oh my god. So now we're gonna go all the way down there to like the edge of the Miami Peninsula and there's like a lot of cool buildings there. I'm gonna take my drone out and try to get cool shots of the buildings. But it's kind of starting to rain so I don't know what's gonna happen. So today is day four 
and it's actually gonna be day one of Key West because as you can see it's still kind of dark out because it's 6 a.m. and we're taking like a mini vacation on our vacation to Key West As I was saying, we're taking like a mini vacation on our vacation to Key West and I don't know, we just wanted to see what Key West is all about because it's supposedly really pretty there and cool, so yeah. Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. So we just got to the hotel in Key West, and this one's like really nice. There's like this bed and a couch, so I guess I have to sleep on the couch tonight, but... It's fine, I guess. I don't know what we're gonna do now. We're gonna try to find some key lime pie because I just found out that Key West is famous for key lime pie and that key limes come from Key West, which makes perfect sense, but I just never knew that that was a thing. So I'm excited to try because I've never had key lime pie. So I'm at this key lime shop and I have all these key lime things to try. I have key lime pie and then I have a key lime slush and key lime limeade, key lime jelly bean, Key lime cookie. So I'm gonna try this limeade first. It's definitely sour. Now the jelly beans. These ones are good. Now I have this cookie. This one's really good. These are all free samples. They have so many free samples here. Now the slushy. I think this is just the limeade but frozen because it's still pretty sour. And now the famous pie. That's good. So the last thing we're doing today is like we're at these docks and we're taking a boat out onto the water and we're gonna like watch the sunset and stuff but it's literally so hot. My butt is so soaked from literally just sitting down and it looks like I peed myself. I hope no one heard me say that. So today's day today's day five and it's like day two in Key West and I don't know what we're doing today we're just spending the morning here and then we're going back to Miami but I don't know what we're gonna do this morning so you'll just have to wait and see so here we are at Ernest Hemingway's house I just have to say this guy put me through so many tough essays in AP Lit we read one of his books and I had to write so many 40 minute essays, but I guess I'm a better writer now. Now we're at this place called the southernmost point of the United States, and I just have to say, I don't see anything falling off the edge of the earth, so flat earthers, your move. So now we're back in Miami, and we're going to like this outdoor mall type of thing to do some shopping, and I'm gonna see what I'll get. So I just got back from shopping and let's do a haul. So this is my what I got in Miami haul. So first I got this shirt and it has a bunch of little cacti on it. There's like this one and then that one, and then that one, and then I don't know how many different ones there are, but this one's pretty cool. 
And then I got this one. Now this one has like all these mountains and then it has these characters on it. And I think that translates to Joy Division. I don't know if this is an album cover or something cause this looks really familiar, but I just really like the design so I got it. And that's it for today's haul. So thank you so much for watching and that's it for today. So today's day, um, oh my gosh. I keep losing track of days. Like I think today's Saturday. So that means it's, it's day six. So today we're going to like, there's this neighborhood nearby. It's called Little Havana because like Florida, like Miami and Key West and all that is like really close to Cuba. And there's a lot of Cubans here and there's a neighborhood called Little Havana. So that's where we're gonna go. Might eat some Cuban food. There's like this really good ice cream place there. So we're definitely gonna try that. And I don't know what else we're gonna do. So now we're at this really popular Cuban restaurant. It has authentic Cuban food, so I'm excited to try out what they have. I got this smoothie slushy type of thing. It's a papaya flavored smoothie and let me tell you it tastes so good. I need to find the recipe for this. For lunch I got this Cuban skirt steak and it looks kind of like American food but the seasoning on the fries and the steak is Cuban style and it's pretty good. So here's the ice cream company. They advertise themselves as homemade Cuban ice cream. Oh my goodness, the line is so long, this better be worth it. Update, it was worth it. I got three flavors. The first one was milk and coffee. The second was cookies and cream, but the third one was so good. It was guava with like grandma cookies. Mm. So after we got back from Little Havana, we went shopping again and I got more stuff this time. So welcome to Miami shopping haul round two. So first we went to Urban Outfitters and they had really good deals on these plain shirts. I got this black one. It's just a black shirt and I'll like put stuff on here. But then I got more stuff here. First of all, these pants, they're like plain khaki shorts, but they have like these stripes on the side which is something I've never had before, so I'm pretty excited to wear these. And they also have like rips on them. I don't think I've ever had khaki shorts with rips on them, so that's pretty cool. And then we have this shirt. It's like white and then it has blue and red stripes, kind of similar to the shorts. So these can be like worn together matching, you know? And then the last thing I got, this shirt. Now I like this one because it has like three colors on it and one side screen, one side's red, and then the collar is like blue. So this one's pretty cool. That's basically it for today. So thank you for watching my haul again, and we'll see you on the next one. So now we're about to get out on another boat because we ran out of things to do. So why not just do another boat? So today is day eight, I think. Whatever it is, it's our last full day in Miami, which is kind of sad, but we're going to the beach again and I have this sports camera and I'm gonna try and like record underwater stuff because there's lots of fish here and they were like trying to eat me yesterday. So I'm gonna catch them with this. But it's the best we can do, and now I'm just like trying to dry my shirt on this hand dryer, and I'm getting somewhere, but this is like the stupidest thing I've ever done. But that's a great way to end the vacation, I guess.
So as I'm finishing up editing this video, I realized I forgot to film an outro. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've gotten lots of support recently and it really means a lot. If you go over to my Instagram, I have a lot of photos from the trip. It's just at Patrick Zajac. So go check them out, give them some love. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends. I had a lot of subscribers in the last few days and I'm really happy to share everything with you because this trip was really fun and I think I got some awesome footage from it. So leave a comment down below with any questions because I'll be doing a Q&A soon once I reach about 1000 subscribers. So leave anything you want to know about me or basically whatever and I guess that's it. So I'll see you in the next video video. Peace.